Well, the future of some nursing homes and care facilities is in question tonight. The Ohio Healthcare Association says some businesses have lost so much money during the pandemic that they might actually have to shut down. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco explains. There are two reasons why the Ohio Health Care Association says skilled care facilities could close. One, the pandemic has decreased patient population, so there's less money coming in. And two, they're spending more money on staffing and protective gear. Flipping through the photos, Scott Reynolds wonders where his mom, Francine, would have gone if her nursing home shut down. They've got to have a place to go, and that's why we need to concentrate on keeping these facilities open because not everybody has the opportunity or the setup to bring a loved one home. Despite surviving COVID-19 last year, Reynolds' mother died this month. Since COVID-19 began, the population at skilled care facilities in Ohio has fallen 13 percent, according to the Ohio Health Care Association. Executive Director Pete Van Runkle says the industry was already struggling to make money. Profit margins for these types of facilities across the country are zero or one percent. They're teetering on the brink to begin with, and then you get COVID on top of that, which is has just decimated the census and facilities, uh, which is where, of course, they get their revenue and and has you know, required them to expend considerable amounts of uh, money on on uh, staffing and PPE and uh, a variety of, of different things that they need just to battle the disease. Van Runkle says these facilities were able to dip into $175 billion in provider relief funds when the pandemic started, but he says that money is depleting and the end result will be businesses shutting down. We just don't have the, the financial wherewithal to continue to absorb losses for very long. What can we do in order to keep the facility open? The National Health Care Association is asking the federal government for $100 billion more. That should uh, help tide us over, hopefully, until the vaccine really takes effect. Reynolds says he may not agree with many nursing home rules during the pandemic, but he doesn't want facilities to close. Van Runkel says the state should carry part of the load because it benefits from Medicaid and about 63% of patients in skilled care facilities are on Medicaid. Reporting in Mount Adams, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.